sanctioned by him and by his leadership. I want you to look at the monitors. And Randy, I want you to play that first clip. From a church in Australia, it is complete filth and blasphemy because it pictures Christ on the cross. Now watch this. Christ and what he did at Calvary's cross. Go ahead, Randy, with clip number three. American, it was not a woman, that was a man dressed as a woman. Now, what he was doing against that youth pastor, I'm gonna, it's vulgar, but I'm gonna say it because this is what it's called in the streets dry humping. That's what they call it. That's what they do in the nightclubs, and they brought it into the church. That was from a church here in this city. No, that was from a hellhole in this city. I'm not even gonna show the last one. I, I, I'm fed up. I'm sick to my stomach. I don't know, listen, as I close, I don't blame the young people. I do not blame those young people. I blame the youth pastors and the pastors. I hold them responsible. Now, here is the problem. Some of those young people on those videos that you saw are going to die and go to hell because of the lies and the garbage that our youth pastors and pastors have fed them. You better mark my word. They're going to hell. Unbelievable. 
ungodly leadership. We need some Jeremiah's. We need some Abraham's. We need some Daniel's. We need some Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego's. We need some Deborah's.